Tony, this video is on adding new talent, and you can see I am logged in here, and so it's pretty obvious. I'm just going to go to this box where it says add new talent. Click on that, and it brings up this form. And let's add a fictional talent. Normally, I don't fill all of this out. I just enter first name, last name, email address. And then I choose a role, and you can see there are a number of roles here, including perspective anchor, perspective reporter, perspective weathercaster. It's also possible to keep a record of talent you're hoping to hire, and you can add people to that list simply by choosing one of these. But we are going to work with people who are already working for us. So let's say I am working with an anchor, so I just choose anchor. And then that's listed here. And once I've got the name listed, um, I've got a couple of options. One is I can change the color of the box that displays. And I do that simply by clicking here on these three. And it brings up a color palette. I, I like to be boys blue. So I'm going to change that to blue. Close that. I can also add a picture of the talent. And I do that assuming I've already got the picture on my computer, uh, which I do before these sessions usually. So I just click on that. And you can see here are the pictures of talent that I've already got in my library, but in this case, I'm adding a new one. So I just go upload photo. And I'll go to my, takes me to my computer, my desktop. And now I'm just looking for a photo that I can use. There's one, so I'll just say open that one. It's going to think about it. That one may have been too big a file. We'll see here first. Nope, there it is. It loads it. So I hit close. And now I just want to make sure that I click save talent. Um, so I click that and it takes me back to the page and here is my new anchor Fred Nash so that is how I um, enter a new and add a new talent to the record so uh, next video will be on how I add recommendations to the talents record